And it is, nice it out is the door. mild. It is mild. A little damp out there, and that'll be the case throughout the day. Right? We've had one batch of rain move through. We get a bit of a break from the rain, not the clouds. And then we'll see more rain later today. But Mary's right. Chris said it earlier, too. It's mild. When you step out the door, you might be surprised by just how warm it still is. Um, and just take a look. I want to show you with some of our weather watchers. The temperatures they are reporting anywhere from the low 40s to the low 50s out there. I mean, it is just incredibly mild. So this is Walter. Walter's in Tompkins Cove. He says it's 46 degrees where he is. Looks like umbrella time today. Yeah, it is. And even though we are going to see a prolonged break primarily in a lot of the rain, you still want to grab that umbrella. Elena's in Brooklyn. She says it's 50 degrees. She says very mild start to the day. Feels like April. And we'll get those April showers later. And she's right. Everything about this day screams April. Except the calendar. It is still, in fact, March just started. Let's go ahead and take a look. March is definitely coming and feeling like April uh, out there. We take a live look outside where it's mostly cloudy. 52 degrees officially in Central Park. 52 degrees. The winds are variable at seven miles an hour. So I want to show you the temperature change because as you might imagine, it's pretty dramatic. And yesterday morning was warmer than the morning before, but even today, still a, a ginormous jump over what we had yesterday. 12 degrees warmer right now than it was this time yesterday in Central Park. 23 degrees warmer for the Hamptons and 24 degrees warmer right now than it was this time yesterday in Edison, New Jersey, and also Poughkeepsie. So incredibly mild. You step outside, you will feel that. I mentioned some rain moving through, so you can see this is the exiting shower activity that we had um, overnight. So we do get a, a bit of a, a sort of a, a drying period here. It's not to say you won't still see a little bit of drizzle, possibly some fog, and definitely the clouds, but then here's the next batch of significant rain. So let's time it out for you. The future cast starting this morning says, yeah, you'll probably get through your lunchtime hour seeing just the clouds and then shortly after that we start to see the next batch of rain move in looks to be widespread looks to be moderate possibly heavy unfortunately looks to come right in time for that evening commute but then we watch another wave of rain move through this is 10 o'clock at night some more pockets of moderate and heavy rain and then we're pretty much done with it we will see some drying conditions as we head into your wednesday and then we do have a slight chance at least on this particular model of seeing a shower pass through on wednesday before another drying trend so it's kind of a <laughs> off and on throughout this week but 59 degrees is what we're expecting for a high temperature today so it will be mild even if we do see some afternoon showers 45 degrees tonight showers possibly a thunderstorm though with what moves through tonight and then tomorrow sun and clouds 56 degrees a little blustery though so may feel colder but temperatures don't actually cool down until Friday